finally made it to Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater Trolley Ride Extravaganza. And you know what's even cooler? Tonight's movie, King Kong vs. Godzilla, actually has trolleys in it. On top of that, to really mess with you, we're showing the Japanese version with subtitles, and it's a completely different mix, a completely different sound score. So if you already were disturbed enough by King Kong vs. Godzilla, which, you know what, I'll tell you what, you never get a cheap monkey suit wet. Remember that. You know, the fur looks awful, it's terrible, but you know what, this is actually a pretty funny movie. When I was a little, a little ghoulie, I did enjoy this one quite a bit, I have to admit that. So uh, later on, we're going to carouse around with uh, Lampini and all of our other friends that showed up to ride the trolley with us today on this gloomy Sunday afternoon, which personally I can appreciate, but maybe some of you uh, don't like it too much. But I'll tell you what, see, you can still have a good time because you can go ride the trolley with Dr. Destruction or just ride the trolley anytime on your own instead of uh, everybody bashing the trolley. Come on and have a good time. Take your kids out for a good time on a trolley ride and, and see what's going on. Go to the museum or something. Have a good time. Anyway, ghoulies, tonight's feature is King Kong vs. Godzilla, the Japanese version, on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater, where we're always having a good time, and it only costs you a quarter. All right, ghoulies, how do you like that King Kong action there? You know, he looked a little disturbed when he first saw Godzilla breathe fire. I guess that was a lot for his little monkey brain to handle. But anyway, luckily I'm here with the demon boy who showed up on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater to give me a hand today on the trolley. How you doing, demon boy? Good. And uh, what, what, can you tell me something about your character, the demon boy? How come you're the demon boy? No. No. What's that? No. You don't know? No. Well, that's good. He's having a good time in being the demon boy, and he doesn't even know why. Well, I thought you'd make a very good, a very good. Where did you find him, Lampini? Lampini him in the egg in the cornflakes of mountains, and I hatched him myself. This is my pet demon boy. And did you have to use an incubator? Yes, I have one built in. You have the built in incubator. See, down. That's what happened when Lampini goes hatching eggs. You know, I don't think you should try this again, Lampini. That's a, you know. Don't fertilize no more eggs, okay. All right, anyway, on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater, we're having a good time. More people are showing up as we speak on the trolley. And if you notice, there's some trolleys in this movie. And I don't know, I take a good look at that King Kong. I kind of got him figured for a trolley basher, like all the other Neanderthals in this town. So anyway, now back to King Kong versus Godzilla on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater. <laughs> All right, ghoulies, here we are. We're still driving around on the trolley, and I don't know. Suddenly, I, I don't know about you, ghoulies, but I've got the sudden taste for coconuts. Does anybody got any coconuts with us today? Coconuts? I guess you just don't get it until you see the movie on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater. And, uh, you know, I think a couple coconuts and some of that wild berry juice might do everybody a little good. But anyway, ghoulies, we're having a great time on the trolley. we got some great guests over here. Uh, we've got all kinds of people that showed up. Let me, uh, whoa! Oh. Easy driver, Christ! <laughs> oh! Yeah, right. I think I got a lawsuit. Okay. Oh. Anyway, ghoulies. Oh. <laughs> I guess we I guess uh, we better just hold on. We'll be back in a few minutes, ghoulies. We'll get the microphone out of my hair and we'll get a sturdy uh, stance. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York, these vagabond shoes are longing to stray right through the very heart of it. New York, New York, I want to wake up in a city that never sleeps. <laughs> All right, you guys. Who, uh, can you want to you give me your first names? Chad. Lisa. Well, you know what? I'm really glad you came to the show today. You made my day. I'm so glad to know that there's people out there that care. And it was great seeing you. And I hope you come on our next Sunset Trolley Cruise. It'll be a little more romantic for couples. So we'll see you next time on Dr. Destruction Crimson Theater. Have a great day. Thank you. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. 
See, there you go, ghoulies. People know how to have a good time in Kenosha on a gloomy Sunday afternoon. You just get on the trolley with Dr. Destruction, have a great time, and, you know, hey, let's check out some of these tattoos over here. You want to show us some tattoos? What the hell? Okay. Hey, come on, t turn the camera around. There you go. Let's get a focus in on you. Come on, show us this arm here. You look just Roll like up the like sleeve. Cousin. You look just like I don't like know. Cousin. You know, I, I know I do got some hillbilly relatives out there, but, you know, you take the cake. There he is, Jimbo on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater, where we're always having a good time, and it's just a little greasier and crustier than normal. Bill's <laughs> hat how about that? How about that King Kong there? You know, you think he could have picked a smaller building to climb on with the girl than that little puny? Is that supposed to be like the Empire State Building? I don't know what they were possibly thinking. I guess they had to throw it in as a token and the budget was getting low. You know, actually, there's a scene in this movie where King Kong takes a big swipe out of a building. Actually, Forrest J. Ackerman, the man from Famous Monsters Magazine, was on the set. And when the King Kong hit the building the first time, it didn't break. He sprained his arm, and they had to get a different actor to play the part. So that, uh, fortunately, the guy was a little bit stronger that busted the building out in tonight's feature. But anyway, we're here again with some of our fans. I'm uh, just curious, uh, what, what made you come down to the show today? Uh, you're my cousin, so I say hi. <laughs> oh, we've got a long-lost destruction. All right, I, I, I'm missing something here big time. We're going to have to talk. I don't know. I I don't know. You know, I got a little confused about the relatives because, you know, b there's a lot of relatives Dr. Destruction has out there. Not to mention that evil twin of mine that plays in that rotten band. But anyway, what brought you down today? I'm with him. She's with him. See, now that's the kind of support the guy needs, you know. She decides to go somewhere. She goes, huh? You having a good time anyway? Yeah. Oh, that's great, huh? All right. And we, well, don't mess with me, demon boy. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll show you some fire. And uh, how about you? What brought you down here today? Because uh, we told you we'd be here. Now, that's sincerity. That is a good, honest answer. But over here, we got Granny Punk, number one fan. How are you doing, Granny? All right, man. All right. I'm very happy you showed up. It's the right fucking beautiful bird didn't show up, man. Get ready. Oh, well, that's his problem, isn't it? Got him on a night. Well, that's too bad. No, shh. All right. Anyway. All right, how about that? Uh, what brought you here today? Oh, uh, you told us to come, so we came to see. Ah, now see? Now, if everybody that I tell to vote for me for mayor uh, votes, I think I'm going to be in. How about you? What brought you here today? With him. All right, he came with you. Does anybody got a good reason to be here besides not having anything to do on a Sunday? My Dr. Who. I am. My, ti my TARDIS, my Type 40 TARDIS broke down. We need a place to bum some parts off of. All right. I don't, I don't think the, a trolley can afford any uh, spare parts right now. But uh, anyway, we got another local celebrity over here. Um, some of you might know him as uh, Mooney. And uh, how you, Moon Mayhem, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Well, that's better than you can expect most of the time out of any of us, right? But I'm really glad you came. I'm really glad you came, Moon Unit. And, uh, you know, it's too bad we can't go find a nice, nice bottle of Brylander somewhere. <laughs> All right, then we got this character over here. Now, when it comes to carousing the bars, when it comes to carousing the bars and, and scoping, I don't think anybody's got Jeff beat here. Is that uh, true or not? Uh, whatever you say, Dr. D. See, uh, he doesn't want to incriminate himself there. All right, now we finally managed to crawl up to the front of the trolley by the trolley driver, our trolley driver. You know, and it's really a shame. I don't even know your name yet. What's your name, sir? Derek. Derek. Uh, so what's like... Uh, What's the most uh, the most fun experience you've had on the trolley so far? I think I'm having it right about now. Oh, thank you. That was a great answer. That was a great answer there. That, I, what was like, well, I won't even get into the worst because there's already enough bad, bad publicity by trolley haters that could take a little break off the sofa and bring the kids down for a good time on a Sunday afternoon instead of, like, being the couch potato and ignoring your kids when there's a great ride right here in downtown Kenosha. You can go to the museum. You can, you know, wait till summer comes. You can go to all the parks. It's great to run on the trolley. It'd be a nice break for the family to come on down and have a good time. So the trolley bash, I think it looks good down here. Don't you folks? Don't you think the downtown's looking good? I think the mayor did a good job, and I think we're, we're looking for the future here, and it's a good, positive thing. And I think, you know, people come down to downtown Kenosha, they're going to look at what's going on here in the marina and the trolleys, and they're going to say, hey, you know, that looks like a cool place to maybe come and live or make a business, you know. We could open up a hard rock cafe down here, or we could have an art fair, street fair along the tro trolley course. There's just endless possibilities. It's a great thing. You can come down here, and you can window shop, 
at Mike Bjorn's 24 hours a day. I mean, it's free. So there you go. There's plenty of things to do. The trolley's a very wonderful thing. And I'm... And that's right. What is it? It's only a quarter. It's only a quarter. That's right, ghoulies. You're watching Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater, where it doesn't cost you a lot of money to have a good time. 25 cents, eh? So how about that, ghoulies? What are you watching right now? You're watching Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater. Aren't you lucky? Are you not lucky? Aren't you lucky? See, ghoulies, some people know how to have a good time and to even prove it to even more. We're going back to King Kong versus Godzilla. In Japanese, read those subtitles and learn Japanese. I think, uh, you know, it's amazing how they go, and they said like a whole paragraph. Anyway, back to the movie, ghoulies. You are watching Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater. Aren't you lucky? And now we terrorize museum. Dr. Destruction, Lampini, and Jimbo. Rock on, dudes. All right, ghoulies, go on. Lots of adventure awaits inside. We took a beautiful trolley ride to one of the great destinations in Kenosha, the museum. Uh, can, let me shake your hand. You know, tonight's movie on Dr. Destruction's theater is King Kong vs. Godzilla, and you look a lot like you could be related to him. Is that true? Oh, I see. And, uh, so is uh, Godzilla on the good side of your family or on the bad? Is he a black sheep? Oh, Godzilla's been given dinosaurs a bad name, huh? Oh, I see. Well, that's, you know, he's a disruptive monster. We've always known him for that. But he has been a hero once in a while. you got to get him that, right? All right, here I'll we are at the hug. museum, one of the many destinations that you can go on on a trolley ride. And we're going to have a great time today at the Kenosha Museum. We took a little break from the trolley. And we'll be back a little bit later. Now, you get back to the movie King Kong vs. Godzilla on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater. Thank you. Told us we had to quiet it down a little bit because we came in here a bit loud. But I have run into a great example of what could have been Godzilla's ancient relative, a dinosaur here. One of the many things you can see at the museum when you take a trolley ride to the museum, or even if you don't. But this is another great sculpture I see. It's a great representation of a raptor, I believe. And it must have been one of Godzilla's early relatives, I could say. Probably know a lot more about it than the scientists in tonight's movie. Anyway, ghoulies. This is just one more thing you can see right here in downtown Kenosha. A lot of good things happening. So right now we'll get back to King Kong versus Godzilla. And remember, ghoulies, shh, you're in the museum. Have to keep it down over here because we seriously got our chewed. So what I'm saying now is look at this beautiful mammoth skeleton that we have right here in downtown Kenosha. You can take a trolley ride to see this actual marvel. And considering our movie does uh, seem to deal with prehistoric beasts, you'll note that uh, there's a lot of realism behind a lot of the myths, you know. And the Japanese have created their own modern Japanese mythology with their movies. Just remember that. Godzilla is quite an icon in Japan, and he's a very strong figure. Anyway, ghoulies, as you can see, Believe it or not, no matter the hogwash of this movie or not, prehistoric creatures did once roam the earth. So anyway, ghoulies, that's enough for now. We'll get back to that movie. And uh, what did that guy have to say? Well, we got a little rowdy here, and I think it's time we leave the museum before they kick us out. We're getting a lot of dirty looks. I guess we're a little bit too loud and rowdy on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater. But uh, you have a uh, some sort of uh, sporting show. What is it? Uh, which one is it? It's not all sporting. It's everything. But isn't this like getting wild in Kenosha? I mean, isn't this what it's all about, right? It's about getting wild in yeah. Kenosha. So you get wild while you're out sporting? All over the place. Well, That's right. And the name of your show again? Outdoor Wild, 21st Century. That's right. I know I've seen it. Uh, and then there's the other ones. You, you, aren't you back-to-back -back with the other show or no? Yeah. Yep, Sporting Wisconsin, and uh, there's the wildlife visions that we're back to back with. All right, well, we're showing the Kenosha a different side of the wildlife here on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater. Sounds good, Dr. Destruction. And what's your name again, sir? It's Dean Romano. All right, Dean, very nice to meet you. And uh, now we'll get back to the movie on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater. And we're going to get back on the trolley, too, and go for another ride. <laughs> And you're watching Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater. Aren't you lucky? Now get off of my trolley! <laughs> We've come to the night of tonight's end of tonight's feature, King Kong vs. Godzilla, where I'm here with the survivors of the Dr. Destruction Crimson Theater trolley ride. 
We've had a great time today showing that you could have a great time in Kenosha on the trolley. So until next time, ghoulies, have a horrifying week, and we'll see you next time on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater, ghoulies. All right! Ha ha ha! Woo!